all right people welcome back to another video all right guys let's say i'm just gonna show you how guys how to create a custom power profile and a custom fan curve right so this is for if you want to set up this anything you want to set up manually for yourself like for your games if you think the fan curve that comes off rip with asus is not good enough for you which some people say is not good enough then this is going to show you how to make the fan curve personally for yourself so that yeah basically just going to personalize it for your gameplay and for the games you have and it's best that you do that because then you get better cooling the the, the fan curve that comes out the box it's not that great what asus gave you so this right here helps you to customize it better to keep your game way cooler even after the update that came out and power profile as well if you want to boost your wattage you lose that less wattage depending on what game you're playing if you're playing indie game you don't need that much uh power so you could do that as well and all depends on what you're doing guys but this right here is gonna help you create a custom fan curve and it's not that hard first i'm in armor crate so once you're in armor crate you just go to settings right here then you go down to operating mode right when you go here then this way you see all your operating mode your turbo your silent your performance and whatever this is windows i guess <laughs> so you go all the way over to manual when you go to manual you go to the three dots you hit that then you hit create new right simple as that when you create it then you just got to go down you can mess with the cpu stuff depending on what game you're playing but in this video we're not going to do that but this is where you create like custom power consumption so you can boost it or make it less depending on what wattage you're on and how much um like the games and everything you're playing right but i'm gonna leave it like that so for the fan curves you got two fans in the system you got fan one right here and you got fan two how you want to do it is on the left side you got the speed of the fan and then at the bottom you got the temperature so when you just plug in the game you don't want it to be that you don't want your fan to be going crazy then you can leave it down a little bit below 10 percent and then you can set it for the temperature right so every time i mean when you get in the game and you start playing it's gonna start getting hotter so that's when the fan gonna know like all right i time to speed up when it gets to 40 percent it's gonna when it gets to 40 celsius then the fan gonna start start um spinning at 50 percent speed right you know what i'm saying so with the dots you just gotta move the dots up and down and that's how you you gauge it right between the temperature and the, the speed so this right here you can be all the way to 100 percent 90 percent depending um on the temperature at the time but this is like one of the best ways to do it that's what i'm seeing when i do all my research to make it goes up like gradually instead of doing it in one straight line because if you don't set this correctly guys then your system might overheat then it might mess up your processor mess up your system your motherboard and all that you don't want that so you want to make sure your fan is blowing and it's cooling down your system so that's basically what the main thing so you just want to set it like that and also i like to mirror each fan so when you go down to fan two now you gotta make sure you fix this one as well because when you go to manual mode off rip flat like that at the bottom at 100 percent it's gonna be a, i think that's like one percent speed you don't want that your, your system gonna definitely gonna overeat so you gotta make sure you go in here and change it if you're messing around with the wattage and the, the power profile guys so you go to fan two now do the same thing put it like that then you just go up gradually between the percentage speed and you try to mirror it as best as possible you might not be able to get it exact as the, the one before which is fan one especially if you're using your finger but if you have a mouse you can get it as accurate as possible and yeah it looks kind of like it as long as you you set it gradu gradually guys to go up it should be good and up put this up to like uh, right so this right here see kind of similar not exact but you you get the drift it's going up gradually and it's cooling down your system all the way to 100 percent all right so that's basically it nothing too fancy so after that 
you go over here to the checkbox to that check that hit apply right here and then this right here is like like a warning thing you got you got to make sure you set your your voltage and your fan curve correctly or your system can overheat basically saying if you don't set if you change your pro power profile and you don't set the fan curve then you could mess up your system so then after that now you're just gonna hit yes to apply and then that's basically it guys something quick and fast and that's how you set up a custom fan curve power profile for your asus rogue ally and as i said if you got any questions about like how to do it or whatever it is or gameplay wise just let me know in the comment section down below hit that like button please guys as i said subscribe to the channel for more awesome content i got more videos coming out guys and let me know what you think and tag stone in and also remember to always say guys health is wealth peace and love i'm out